Mark Taylor word from the Lord August 24, 2024 to man of the flesh, it never ceases to amaze or surprise that man thinks he is so much more intelligent than those that came before him. And to what do they conclude is the reason for this? Their, man's, education system. Do they really think that there was no education system back in the day? And, let's be frank here, about man's education system. It is set up to make man the creator instead of the created. Man in all their infinite wisdom and knowledge. Do they not comprehend that their wisdom and knowledge comes from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? That their system of education is designed to take one further and further away from the truth? Man's educational system is a Pandora's box opened. It is based upon performance, acceptance, and compliance, that looks at the outward package instead of the inward package. It is a system that uses repetitive themes to get all of the people in a row, lined up with its standards of what is important, and what is true. When someone doesn't fit in, or does not conform, they are labeled as unfit, and unruly. Conformity rules. A square peg cannot fit into a round hole. It is a system designed to brainwash all into a compliant, willing, slave that never questions, never wakes from the induced slumber that they have been put under. They can be manipulated, controlled, swayed, aligned, without worry that they may catch on to what is actually being done to them. They are trapped in a system by their own kind, thought up by their own kind, that is rigged to keep them in a mentality of slavery under the disguise of giving them a higher education. And man thinks, highly educated thoughts, that they are now more intelligent, more comprehending, in their thinking than those of yesteryear. They think that they continue to grow and evolve. It is for sure that their sin, their wisdom, and knowledge from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil has evolved. Man thinks that he is in control and the master of his destiny. And all the while Satan laughs. For they do not understand, comprehend, grasp, that they are in the hold of the enemy. They cannot see that what they classify as important to get ahead of everyone else is smoke and mirrors. And they drift further from the truth. They have swallowed hook, line, and sinker that they are the top of the food chain, that they are in control of their destiny, that it is survival of the fittest. They walk this earth in a skin coat of dust and clay. They label each other according to their own plumb line. Their truth morphs at the whim of their intellect. They seek to change times and seasons in order to manipulate and control. They are indeed of their father. The created attempting to become the creator. Meanwhile, the spirit being wrapped in skins becomes weak and dim. Further and further away from the truth they stumble. Some wake but are not willing to know the full truth. Some wake in order to further their own agendas. Others wake and follow after the truth and find it. Others do not wake and continue down the wide road of smoke, illusions, mirrors and flesh. The flesh wants what the flesh wants. The flesh cannot stand in the truth. Man of the flesh cannot stand in the presence of the holy truth. In all their endeavors to obtain the throne above all others, they stumble, they fall, they crawl, they die in their fallacies. O oh foolish man, who told you that you were naked? Who told you that the way of the flesh was the narrow path? Who told you that the way to the throne was your intellect encased in flesh? Who told you that your way was the right way? You follow the flesh wherever it takes you, you follow your finite intellect wherever it takes you, never understanding that the way of the flesh is death, never comprehending the way of the spirit is the narrow path that leads to life. You continue to bow down to the created instead of to the creator of the created. Matthew 23:15, KJV, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you compass sea and land to make one prose light and when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Amp, woe to you, self-righteous, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! Because you travel over sea and land to make a single prose light, convert, and when he becomes a convert, you make him twice as much a son of hell as you are. Foolish man, do you not comprehend, grasp, understand that your finite wisdom, knowledge, 
intellect is like dust in the wind. Here today and gone tomorrow. You base your judgments upon the outside of the cup. You are whitewashed tombs full of dead men's bones and worms. You base your thinking, ideas, their ories upon the created being instead of the creator of the being. After all the signs, wonders, miracles you have witnessed you still believe that the physical rises and falls because of you. You even come to me as if it were you that draws me to you. There will be a time when time runs out and then you will look into the eyes of eternity. The more man thinks he has gained the more he has lost. You seek to find but do not, for you seek to find in the physical what can only be found in the spiritual. Physical begets physical, spiritual begets spiritual. Physical spans time but is not timeless. Spirit spans eternity which is timeless. How is it that you strive to obtain wisdom and knowledge from one another, flesh from flesh, instead of striving to obtain the wisdom and knowledge from the Creator, spirit to spirit? O oh foolish man do you not understand, grasp, comprehend, that there is nothing new under the sun? The more you seek to change the times and seasons, the more they stay the same. For you seek to change with the flesh when it can only be changed by the spirit. You have immersed yourselves in the flesh instead of in the spirit. Awake! Awake! For time is short, yeah, it is running swiftly into eternity. Matthew 10 28 And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. But rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Mark Taylor